Uh, last year we had some, I think we were in we say September, we are in October or September last year, right at the end of September, I believe. When we each had four or five games in order to go, I think, you know, when you have those years, it does make it dramatic, but, you know, it is it's scheduled when it's scheduled, you have to deal with it. And then, and then play, when you play a team of that caliber early in the season, it does challenge you getting ready for camp and all the things you have, especially when we have Oklahoma State also, but they have Georgia, so we're very similar in that regard. Uh, Vic Beasley, outstanding player, very athletic, can play the run, can play the pass, very dynamic. They got him. Back, so you have to slide protect to him, but you can't block one on one. I mean, one of the outstanding players of our conference and in, in the country. Coach Tarr, right? Second row. Coach, uh, coming into this season, you're picked first in the Atlantic, as has already been mentioned. But last season, it was a reversal of roles between you guys and Clemson. So that just goes to show how much it doesn't mean. So what is your focus going Most times, the people pick it wrong. You're right. <laughs> y'all pick it wrong. See, we're, we're, we're evaluating y'all, too. So, so <laughs> evaluate y'all. How many times y'all, if your percentage, hey, if, if your percentage of getting it right was my percentage of coaching, you wouldn't have a job either. <laughs> <laughs> So right now, I'm sorry. How do you keep your team focused on Oklahoma State? Well, I, I think that's very easy because they're, they've been one of the outstanding teams in this country the last three or four or five years. I mean, Mike Gundy and, and their staff have done a tremendous job. Uh, they've been there two years ago. They were right in the hunt for the national title. Uh, I mean, they've had outstanding players and you know, done well at all levels of ball as far as going to the pros and everything else and opening up in uh, Dallas Stadium and you know, the excitement and exposure for that game and for our for our program and for our conference is tremendous. We carry that it's a huge responsibility in which we carry. We want to play well so we can go out and uh, compete in that game. To your left, this side. Coach Bob Holliday from Raleigh. There's been an explosion of kick return touchdowns in this league. Uh, six kickoff touchdowns, 10 punts. You can dominate a game, do the safe thing, and punt, and all of a sudden run back, and the game is tied. Does that change your thinking in as, as what's a safe play? And do you have to be, talk about being careful of how well, you I, I definitely think you have to constantly scheme because there's more dynamic people playing football now than ever. A bunch of guys are very dynamic with the ball in their hand. But I also think you have to look at the quality of people you're putting on your team. Sometimes as as a special teams guy, you put back up for young freshmen to get them time. Well, to me, you're kicking to the other team's most dynamic player in space and you don't have your best players running down the field. That doesn't make a lot of sense to me. So we're, we play a lot of starters on all of our special teams, especially our punt cover team, because those things and, and how to protect and block the punt. So, you know, those things are very important to us. We spend a lot of time on them, but you definitely do have to calculate and know who you're kicking it to and how you're kicking it to and making sure you're covered. Coach, over here this side. Yes, sir. Coach Jim Connors from Time Warner Cable News. This time last year, we were asking you how important it was for you to kick the door down and, and win it all and, and for the conference to, to do that. And now that both boxes have been checked, um, how much do you feel uh, still remains to be proved that the ACC is a top-tier football conference and that, that you're a le legit perennial national title contender? I think you have to prove it every day. When good enough becomes good enough, you have a problem. If you don't ever keep that attitude of domination, that hunger to be great, somebody's going to pass you up. It's too competitive in our business. There's too many good players and too many good coaches out there to not stay on top. And I think that's always your goal. If you don't have that, you should get out of it. If your goal is not to be that way and put the time and effort and, and the planning into that, and that, that's why I work at Florida State. That's why I want to coach at Florida State. And that's our attitude, and, and it's going to be our attitude. Next three questions will come from this side. Hey, Coach Jeff, WRL in Raleigh. Uh, I talked to a couple of your players yesterday. They were excited to have an opportunity possibly to play in a football Final Four. I think across the country there is an excitement. What, did, what about as far as a coaching staff to know after you win your national championship game last year, you and I had to play another game to win it? What, what's your perspective as a coach there? No, well, I think it's uncharted territory for everyone. No one knows. I mean, there's no one can give a solid answer because no one's done it. And you can't say I didn't. We know I was in one double A playoffs too, but that's different. It's a two game deal and, and the amount of time you have off. I think we're all going to be in uncharted waters. We have to have a plan if we're fortunate enough to be in that situation. We all plan to be there of getting that calculation of how hard you work guys into that game. Because before it's a, it's a one game deal. Now, can you get to 10 days after and how you want to handle travel back and forth and, and, how, and all those logistics? I think it's very critical. But you know, everybody's going to have the same. Chance everybody's gonna have the same problems and be in uncharted waters themselves, but you know that's the goal. You do want to be a champion, you got to get in it. So I think the excitement will override all those things, and uh, we're looking forward to it too. It'd be very exciting, great challenge. Still.